Hello Dixons, I'm Aisha Ali, Head of English at Dixons Cottingley Academy. Thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe to our channel, like, comment and share using the hashtag Dixons Open Source. This video will cover how we have shaped, debated and collaborated in creating our highly ambitious and challenging curriculum. At Dixons Cottingley in English, we grow students reading, writing and critical thinking skills through our challenging and broad curriculum. Our highly tailored teaching and emphasis on powerful knowledge allows all students to achieve exceptional outcomes. We prepare students for life beyond their academic career by developing oracy and building cultural capital within and outside of the classroom. How did we decide what text to teach and why? We understand here at Dixon's Cottingley that curriculum intent and design is an integral part of ensuring our students are exposed to a wide range of high quality literature. We are committed to offering our students breadth and challenge and we endeavour to ensure our curriculum design enables our students to think deeply. Therefore, we never stop refining and reconsidering our curriculum as this will continue to evolve and develop. We continuously reflect and challenge the decisions we have made by collaborating on some key questions. Is our curriculum ambitious for all students and does it offer breadth and depth? Does our curriculum provide powerful knowledge our students require to be successful? Is our curriculum cumulative and designed to be remembered in detail. As subject specialists, it is imperative that we offer all of our students the opportunity to study and appreciate the literary canon and expose our students to the best of what is thought and said. One example of a text that was most debated in our English curriculum at Dixon's Cottingley is Shakespeare's play Othello, which students study in cycle two of year eight. Traditionally, students have studied this Shakespeare play at A-level. However, we believe that our students should have the opportunity to read such challenging texts to develop a real understanding of concepts such as gender and power, race and empire, which we build upon and make connections to in other texts studied over the course of the curriculum. It is this focus on concepts which enables students to see the world differently and takes them beyond their everyday experiences as Michael Young advocates powerful knowledge should. Ultimately, we believe our curriculum should be built on key concepts conveyed through studying challenging texts by authors such as Shelley and Shakespeare, which also offer students culturally rich knowledge. Crucially, we leave nothing to chance and have chosen our texts based on how well they contribute to our students' understanding of the human condition. How do we ensure our curriculum is culturally diverse whilst focusing on the classics? Our schemes of learning are planned around our key anchor texts that make up the classics. However, we cover a diverse range of literature from a variety of time periods and cultures through our wider reading selection in our high quality booklets. All of our schemes of learning are complemented with a wider reading section which allows our students to read and study the anchor text in depth but also link concepts and themes across text and genres. For example, in our Gothic scheme, Frankenstein, students will have the opportunity to read wider critical texts from academics like Professor Karen O'Brien's Dr. Victoria Frankenstein, where she discusses the idea of a female Frankenstein. Students are given the opportunity to study a wide range of non-fiction literature from a variety of cultural contexts and time periods to convey how different political messages are conveyed and to appreciate how language is manipulated. In cycle three, year eight, study a range of non-fiction and fiction extracts in our constructing text scheme where they will be exposed to Martin Luther King's speech. In addition to this, we have ensured our Drop Everything and Read canon has been carefully selected with a wide range of texts that are from culturally diverse backgrounds, race and empire, 
through our dear canon here at Cottingley, students are able to appreciate text from a diverse range of backgrounds through being able to read The Kite Runner by Khalid Husseini to Things Fall Apart by Chinua Achebe. How is our curriculum sequenced? We believe that challenge and key concepts should begin early from the start of a child's journey at secondary school. Therefore, we introduce key concepts in Year 7. This has allowed us to ensure that our curriculum is cumulative and coherent, building on prior knowledge, whilst ensuring students remember more. For example, from our curriculum overview, you can see that we teach Greek mythology, Homer's epics, right from Year 7 in Cycle 3, which allows us to introduce key concepts taken from some of the Greek myths. This supports students in their discursive writing skills at GCSE. In Year 8, we introduce our students to the Greek tragedy, Othello by Shakespeare, which will support our students when they come to study their GCSE literature text, Macbeth and they will have a more thorough understanding of the tragedy genre conventions. Thinking about curriculum sequencing and the way knowledge builds cumulatively across all key stages has allowed us to coherently sequence episodes of learning which prepares our students for life beyond school, as well as taking them beyond their everyday experiences. I hope you have found this video useful don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. I look forward to seeing you soon.